crisis um, have, has been perceived by you in the beginning and what, what was your first impression and how did it evolve? Thank you, Robert. And uh, I remember, uh, I'm very happy, first of all, to interact with this Oval Studio uh, from Germany. Thank you. And uh, my, uh, in fact, uh, this pandemic started in, I think, 2019, December. Mm -hmm. And uh, just before that, I was uh, gone to a university in Malaysia. I was just giving a guest lecture on uh, recent trends in public health. And uh, I just uh, ended the lecture with saying, okay, now we have control communicable disease, now we have to only deal with non-communicable disease. Mm -hmm. And by the time I came back to India in December, uh, there was a news about the Wuhan virus. And then there were, uh, in January, by the time January and all, there were a lot of, uh, you know, viral pictures of uh, mayhem in China things getting locked down and there was a panic and of course uh, we were uh, very very in distant India we never thought that it will spread so fast then uh, from China it uh, the next country to be involved was Thailand Thailand did not have much of a problem but it went to Italy after that and there were uh, mask uh, deaths in Italy and that uh, I think triggered the panic the first the draconian measures china they locked down the hubei district large number of population locked down this was uh, unprecedented in uh, public health history and when china locked down uh, hubei district the world media criticized china it said this is unscientific this is authoritarian this is draconian even one of the who rep also mentioned it i have got it on record but uh, when it uh, went to italy and the media took over because in Italy it hit the nursing homes, it hit the elderly people. It had a very elderly population and because of large number of casualties, Italy was the second country which had the lockdown. And then it spread to other European countries and this one country after the other, they used this draconian measures, lockdown, then other measures which came to be known as COVID appropriate behavior like social distancing, mask and other things and uh, it is very fascinating i read somewhere that these measures did not have any evidence the only evidence it had was uh, it was uh, based on a high school project of a girl student in 2015 she did a, some computer project if there is a uh, outbreak of influenza whether the lockdown will work uh, social distancing work. So it was a simulated computer project and that she happened to be a daughter of a USA scientist. And then they used this model based on computer projection of a high school girl. No. I, 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 will, I will send Here you. Here in India? You mean no, no, not in India. It was America. In America. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, will, I will send you the reference. I will send That's you the crazy. Link. Yeah. I will send you the link. And uh, then... Uh, that is about it. And uh, then one country after the other in the March, uh, the China declared it a pandemic of, you know, it declared it a global pandemic. And uh, one country after the other outdid the measures. And India went on to the, one of the largest lockdown of uh, almost 140 crore population uh, with a four hours notice. And that ca caused a lot of collateral harm that caused, you know, people losing their job, people have to walk miles on foot in March and uh, of course that was uh, in March then April May and and this was I think uh, this thing was on a very very amateurish uh, methods they applied as if you know initially the purpose of lockdown was two weeks in uh, most of the countries they said two weeks lockdown so as not to overwhelm the hospital services. Afterwards, it kept on prolonging. Then there was a promise of a vaccine coming. And they thought ki once the vaccine comes, then everything will be fine. Which so you've been critical from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, 